Well, good morning, everyone, and happy hump day. Now, I've decided to make some changes to my readings because I want to get real. And it's not always going to be pretty, but I think it's time for a little truth and honesty and realness to this because not all readings that I make are good. So it's time to uh, draw out the big guns because, you know, the the full moon's coming, you know, and you, it's going to be a lunar eclipse on top of that. And then you have that dreaded star, Algo, to deal with. So I decided it's time to buckle down. And so I'm reverting back to a few of my old methods of readings and uh if you've watched my readings before which probably most of you have this is a little bit more how i did it before when i give readings for everyone and one thing about it is I use candles with my readings, which I've been neglecting to do. And hopefully this won't add too much time to my uh, readings. Haven't gotten out my video yet for beneficial herbs used in smudging. Um, I'm still working on it. Uh, had a pretty busy day yesterday, so haven't gotten to it yet. Um, and I, I wanted to mention, I want to shout out to Kim Fitzgerald, uh, who had suggested, uh, she said she wanted to hear more on the herbal aspects of uh, the medicinal and saging aspects of popular herbs and other things like resins and stuff. So uh, I'm going to put Kim's link down in there. You know, uh, she's, she's, uh, I'm not sure how long she's been going, but I think she's a newer YouTuber. But uh, I'll, I'll put her link down in there. She's a faithful follower and she leaves, you know, comments practically daily, I believe. Uh, and she's been with us for a little while. So, yeah. Anyway, part of my uh, ramp up to this is that I'm going to change my tarot to include um, the ghost deck tarot. All right. I replaced the uh, I replaced the rose quartz for my clear crystal ball here for some clarity on these. And as I said once again. This is more like my old style. Let me all know what you think in the bottom. And remember, these will not all be nice and uh, pretty and pleasant. But they will be brutally honest. So uh, let me know if they relate to you and what do you think of them and everything. Please leave a comment and don't forget to hit that like button. And the only thing I'm missing is the, uh, I uh, normally would place my crystals around here, but I'm working with a very limited uh, area now here. It's especially limited. And uh, also I normally bring out this singing bowl to help with concentration. But uh, seeing as I'm just doing one card readings for everybody together that, uh, 
I think I can manage to concentrate on just one and focus on the one. Okay. Cut the deck. Oops. Oh, I'm going to be a klutz this morning. Sorry, I've been up since 3.30. Don't know why I'm on these screwy hours. Let's go. All right. The lighting's bad in here, sorry. You have the one of pentacles. And this will be an upright card. Take a good look at this card. I know it's not easy to see in here. And in this deck, some of the uh, descriptions of it are not quite clear. They're a little bit fuzzier because it's a ghost deck. All right. In this card, there's a single mysterious hand that comes out of the clouds. In the hand is what looks like a gold coin with a pentagram engraved on its surface. The pentacle is associated by the element of earth and seems as a sign of wealth in all things material and earthly. Below the hand is a garden, which too is faint and ghostly-like which appears to be flourishing with flowers and other types of vegetation, giving off the aura of fertility, growth, and prosperity. The mountain represents the ambition to drive one's search for the pentacle, and it takes place on a mountainous, like mountainside. And the flowing creek, which I believe is down here below, seems to indicate that emotions are flowing toward this ambition. Okay, like other aces in the tarot, this is like an indication of new beginnings. It means that you are at a point in your life where a new cycle is beginning and you are about to start afresh. Because the suit of pentacles is primarily concerned with all things material, not just financial, but also within the sensual, this represents this reset can manifest itself as a new career, the undertaking of a new venture, or the start of putting more care into your health. Wherever the beginning takes place, the Ace of Pentacles assures that what is to come will bring great abundance and opportunity. The Ace of Pentacles indicates a seed being planted in the material world, in your feelings of security and stability, like a seed, this opportunity must also be nurtured and sometimes invested in with energy, time, or funds. Watering this seed has the potential to be very rewarding, for anything that is grown on this energy is meant to be stable, secure, and give good yield. Prosperity is coming your way. One also has to make sure that they are psychologically prepared for the opportunities that are appearing. To be able to harvest the gift of the pentacles, you will need to be filled with the calm and stability that it brings. This is a kind of spiritual prosperity, if you will. This kind of mindset can mean we become open to trying new things and not sticking to the old washed out routine. Now the love meeting. It means a love that is loyal, lasting, and practical, as suggested in this card. The pentacles are related to the element of earth, which, which gives relationships a steady, generous, and reliable quality. 
couples may find that their relationships give them a feeling of stability and security, and its influence gives them the confidence to take risks and explore. This gives lovers a chance of being independent and allow each to thrive as individuals while bringing back more to the relationship. Relationships may feel prosperous and abundant, and you and your lover may feel lucky and privileged to enjoy life together. If you're single, make sure to take care of your practical life as well, as this will give you the foundation you need to find a love that can flourish. All right, career meaning. New opportunities are available to you now that you can secure you a better job or a higher position in your existing company. Should you take your chances and work hard, you may be rewarded with a promotion, a business venture, or a job that truly fulfills you. Since it's an ace, this card signals beginnings, and these changes can mark the start of new adventures or era for you. Good energy is coming your way. You should welcome it like a breath of fresh air. And finally, finances. What investments are you making towards your future? An Ace of Pentacles signals financial opportunities or new financial growth. Considering this card as a seed, you are being given chance to make this seed and to grow it somewhere that can sustain you in the long term. Try and make the most of it by learning more about your finances or putting away some savings for the future. If you're really lucky, this card can also signify some sort of windfall or financial gifts coming your way. All right. All right, so I don't have a second segment up yet. Um, once again, I'm working on the herbals video and I'm really going to try today to get that out because I should have a more quiet day than usual. Hopefully everything goes well. And, uh, and then I begin on uh, the next video, which hopefully you all will find interesting and educational. And if you learn something in my channel, well, I think that's just great. That That's I've served the purpose. If you learn something, I feel, feel like I've accomplished something then. Okay. Enough chit-chat and jib-jab and all that good stuff. Thank you all for being here. Peace. Believe. Because the spirits are out there. And goodbye until tomorrow. Night, y'all.